Hi guys, in this video we will draw the shear force and bending moment uh, diagram of uh, this beam and uh, we will verify the results of this shear force and bending moment diagram with the uh, theoretical calculated results. So these are our shear force and bending moment diagrams of this uh, beam and we have to verify these uh, in the uh, SAP 2000. So let's dive into SAP 2000. So I have opened the SAP 2000 software and the first thing we have to select, uh, click on this file and then click on this uh, new model so when it will open uh, a window and it will ask for the unit so if you look into our unit so so our units are here the force unit is like in the pound and the distances are in the feet uh, so we have to select uh, the pound feet system so on this uh, in this menu drop down and select uh, the pound feet system next we have to select uh, the select the template so the template you're using are the grid only so we will select on the grid options uh, upon clicking uh, there is another window is open it's uh, asks for the number of the grid lines uh, the number of grid lines in x direction and the y direction and the z direction so if you look into our to our diagram of the uh, the beam it shows that this is the this is the x direction the horizontal in this direction we consider this as the x direction uh, and this is the vertical we are considered it is the z directions uh, so the number of the grids uh, in the x directions uh, i have to let me enlarge this so this is the x direction and this is the z direction so the number of the grids uh, on the x directions we will consider this is like the first point uh, and this will be on the second grid and this will be the third grid and this will be the fourth grid so we have to select the fourth grids in x directions it is already selected for so we have to select this fourth the next in the y directions uh, this is the uh, into the out of the plane this is the y direction like this one uh, so i was uh, in this direction we were just uh, selecting only and uh, one grid only so select the one grid and z uh, this also if we look into the beam so this is the z direction the vertical is the x direction so we are considering here the vertical is this is only like the vertical direction this is only the one grid so in the z direction we are so considering that is a one next uh, is the distance uh, this grid spacing the x direction so here the grid spacing the between the first uh, into second grid this is like the four feet and between the fourth uh, second and third is the six feet but this varies uh, so we can now we are now selecting the four feet and then we can later it modify for our uh, according to the beam condition so we here we are uh, taking the grid spacing x direction is the four feet then we click on ok so this uh, we have generally uh, uh, sketches has been like the drawn for the beam to be drawn and data so next option we have to select uh, and uh, this uh, come into this drop in this menu and click on x direction so these are our four grids so uh, like the, this like i have selected the xz directions uh, as you can see like the beams uh, we have this like the xz uh, in two dimensional in, in direction so uh, next we have to give this uh, four feet uh, and six feet and this four feet distances so what we have to we have to right click uh, on in this uh, area uh, in an open area and then the edit grid data next we have to click on this modify or show system though. so here this is the x grid data and this is the y grid and z data we have we don't deal with the uh, y and z so only we deal with the x and z grid data so the first grid this is a um, this is the first grid this is like in the zero and uh, zero we consider this as an origin so this will be like at a zero feet uh, so the first grid space is the zero feet the, the next uh, the b grid and the second grid this is the second grid so from here this origin this distance is a uh, four feet uh, so it's already selected here is the four feet uh, uh, the next uh, is a uh, this, this third grid uh, so the distance uh, from here to here is a uh, four uh, feet plus six feet uh, we are considering this is the origin so four feet and six feet is equal to ten feet uh, from this point uh, to this point uh, to the third grid so it is a uh, ten feet uh, we are selecting uh, we will uh, click on this and then press type ten uh, after the, the fourth grid uh, this is the d grid and here we are considering this is the fourth grid first uh, second uh, this is third and this is the fourth so the distance uh, from here uh, to here this is like a four ten and six uh, uh, this is a 14 feet uh, so we have to uh, type here 14 feet uh. now we have uh, to put on type all of the data uh, the first is zero then four ten and uh, fourteen if we can check out this is the first two level is zero and this the second grid is a four feet away and this is the third this is a uh, from here it is a four plus six ten uh, to 410 and then to the last will be the 14 
uh, so here select the data and then you click on ok and then ok we can uh, again right click on to whether confirm whether whether values has been so here, here the value we are 4 10 6 10 and 14 has been here set put it uh, correctly uh, then we click on the ok the next thing so we have to come in here and define and then we click on this uh, load pattern uh, here we can see this is the dead load so we are not considered the dead load of the beam in our calculations so we here select uh, uh, press type 0 then we have to modify the dead load pattern so this dead load becomes 0 then we click on select the next is we have to draw the beam uh, the basic structure of the beam so here we can say if you click on this menu you have see it, it shows the draw frame or cable so you can also um, select from here like the uh, draw frame or cable let's move this window to this another this area uh, so what we was we have select the first pointer and then we want to select the second point then we have we can continuously select our next point and then uh, we are quickly uh, under the last pointer uh, since we are drawn on the beam so what we have to um, press escape to come out of this command the next thing is we have to join the um, we have to show like the uh, the restraints so th this is uh, this is uh, the initial this is the free end and this uh, four feet is we have a roller support and then uh, this uh, from the 10 feet this is a pen support so we have to identify our supports are restraints so, so what we have uh, this is uh, like this is the point and this is the second point you can see if you mm, place the most course will show like a small uh, red circle so what we we can make a, a, like a window and then can select so this is uh, selected uh, we have on this location we have to apply is a joint and then this is a restraint and uh, if you can see that the first support we have that so this one is the roller support the first one uh, so this will be considered as a roller and then we can apply and okay uh, if you can select uh, next we have to select on this area this is where the, the, the second support which has the pen support as you can see from the figure this is uh, this is the pen support so this is a, this is a, this is the pin support we will select this and then apply and then okay so we have to uh, assign our support so the next we have to uh, the next steps we have to apply and the lower so so and the first um, the first point as you can see this is a 250 uh, pound uh, lower at the first uh, in at initial uh, point of the beam and this is uh, actually the same considered the upward is a uh, positive so this force is downward so we have to select uh, this for as minus 250 lb uh, first we select on this uh, this first point then assign then joint and then then force so here we can see like this uh, this is a uh, this is the z direction as we can be shown that the, the set concept this is a vertical this is in a z direction so in this this direction uh, this is a uh, 250 in the downward so we will take it minus 250 uh, pound so here we can put minus 250 and this is a force so in a z direction and then we'll click on apply and then uh, okay Next, we have to assign. Uh, we want to assign this another force uh, at the end of the beam, which is also 250 lb. So we will select uh, this uh, at the end of the beam, and then we'll click uh, come here to assign and uh, frame load, and then we will uh, joint load. Sorry, and then select click on the force. This is also the same force as uh, the if you can see the previous. And this is a 250 lb, and this is 250 lb. This is also downward. So we are considered this uh, as a negative. So it uh, we will we already selected 250 in a global uh, force in the global z direction. Then we click on apply, and then okay. The next so for load we have this uniform distributive load. This is on the middle uh, span of this uh, beam. Uh, so we will select uh, this uh, this part uh, of the beam, and then uh, click come here to assign, and then frame load, and then we have to click on distributive load. So this is a uh, uniformly distributed load. So it is a 150 pound per foot. Uh, so here is a uniform load. Uh, we will put as a 150 uh, pound per foot. Uh, and we will click on apply. And then okay. As you can see, upon applying this load, the other load have been disappeared. It has just been disappeared. It's not not deleted, etc. If you click uh, on uh, this point. Uh, uh, right click and um, move your cursors and this right click on this point and then comes to load here it's shown that uh, here is a minus 250 uh, lb force is applied uh, and if you click on this point also uh, you can confirm for the load that here also minus 250 pound force has been applied uh. the next thing is that we have to uh, run the analysis so once we have to click on this run analysis this uh, uh, icon uh, and then click on the model we don't want this model to run so we will click on this 
and this next we have to click on the run now and now we have to save our file so I can beam and share force diagram and rendering movement so we have to save the file uh, so the file has uh, been saved next we have to show if you view the shear force diagram so you can come here and click on this uh, i can show forces or stresses and then came on uh, click come and click on this uh, frames or cable tendons so we have to, to check our shear force diagram so we are click on the share to two and then uh, we have to click on this show values uh, and then we click on apply and then okay so this is our shear force di uh, movement diagram actually the shear force and movement diagram are there to be drawn on this set two thousand it will be like uh, the upward uh, to that uh, we will be drawn in theoretical but the values will be same it is a two if we can confirm these values uh, so this is a uh, uh, minus 250 uh, then minus 250 then 450 then minus 450 250 so we can verify this is 250 this minus 450 450 and then minus 250 the only uh, issue with this is it's generally it is like uh, an opposite to that of uh, the uh, at date of drawing and the save 2000 but the value are saved this you know, initial 250 value so uh, here uh, so here also this is a 250 value this is like and then under uh, the second point this is a 450 value so so i'm sorry this is a this is a 450 and this is a minus 450 and 250 so this is a minus 50 the uh, 450 this 250 wheel and this is a, again the 250 so the values are the same but only just like the uh, direction of this is opposite to that of the chiropractic next we have to verify the bending movement diagram so we can click uh, come and click again on this point and then we we'll click on the movement two th three three and uh, make sure this uh, this uh, show values is selected it will be like the field diagram but you can select and show values and then click on apply and then okay so this is the bending movement diagrams of the, the theoretical collision. This is minus 1000 pound foot and this is minus 2000. So here you can actually, uh, we can also see this is minus minus 1000 and this again minus 1000 feet. So this was uh, this is the bending movement and the values that we have been verified with the theoretical values. So uh, we can also um, now can the joint uh, the, the reactions value so by click on this joints uh, then we can apply. And value, so we can also select. So uh, actually, uh, uh, we can if we select on this area, uh, the most cursor and select in this area. We can show this value in this window also. Uh, actually, it was showing in the 3D view. So this is the, the joint uh, or the the reactions value at uh, these supports. So, so hope you it will uh, you will like the video. If you like it, please uh, like, uh, share, and uh, subscribe to our channels. Uh, uh, and thanks for watching.